Alright, Bubble Rex here. In today's video, is a Diablo video, not a WoW video. Oh well, if you're expecting WoW, some days it's not WoW related. But, this is my first impression of the season of the Malignant. Alright, the name makes it sound awful. I'm gonna be real. But, as you can see, if this is your kind of aesthetic, it may be for you. But, I'm gonna get more into details. Because I've been playing, I'm only level 32. I haven't, this is a first impression. This is a so far. I'm gonna be streaming more of this. But let's get into it. So, so far, playing. My druid feels fine. Chumbus feels fine. My necromancer, I feel, feels a little less like a little worse but they are not seasonal that's just me after the patch that everyone hates um everything seemed fine on those two uh my necromancer's build is bad that's why they feel bad um but so far on the new rogue i if you're gonna play this new season i'd recommend playing a new class you know you mix it up you level someone new and so far it's feel felt fun I've been having a good time. Now, so as far as game playing, feels as good as before. Playing a new uh, class is good. Uh, as far as using the new hearts, some of them are very interesting. And I hear Necromancer is super cool, but I haven't been playing. Because you can't play with the hearts on the Eternal Realm, which is a little depressing. Oh, i got to admit, um, you can't do the quests either. It's all on the Season Realm. Uh, and it only starts after you finish the main campaign as well. Now, so, so far on Rogue, like a, I know you're going to hate this, but it's like a 7 out of 10. You know, Chumbus, 10 out of 10. Chumbus feels great. My Necromancer is a 3. Feeling horrible. But that's my build. But, now let's get into the juicy bits. The pay to win, but it's not pay to win. But it's something. So, is the season path wor worth worth it? So the free the free season pass that everyone gets access to gives you some shirts, the smoldering ashes, which gives you the bonus, as you can see here, all the smoldering ashes there. Uh, you get some trans mug, you get some pants, you get a suit, you get some daggers, some boots, the free stuff. I would say is all right and it's free so you can't be too mad at it you know they are giving you something free and if you just have the normal version of diablo well you can also just play it as well in the new season for free so i do think that's cool but as far as the rewards they're kind of whatever if you like them you like them if you don't you don't now as far as the paid stuff as you can see, uh, it's got its own look. I think the horse looks cool. I actually like the aesthetic of the season stuff. So if if it looks good to you, all right. If you like the style that it is, you know, then you're gonna like it. As far as progress, I'm 32, and I did get the bonus 20. So I'm 32, and I'm at, I'm at 31. But I feel like it's slower, uh, higher up. But you essentially just work your way through these, get your favor up, you know. It's pretty smooth. It, it, and you're pretty much doing the same content you would be doing playing normal Diablo leveling. So it is what it is in regards to that. And... As far as the paid, I would I rated it as like an 8 because I like the aesthetic, but it's it's really up to you. If you don't like it, then you don't like it. If you like it, then you like it kind of deal. Um, so there's that. Now, as far as the premium, you may notice some stuff here. Hold on, let me try to find one where it's like here. This is right, premium reward. Okay, the premium 
is not worth it at all. Literally zero out of ten. You're paying fifteen more dollars for emotes. Don't do it. Don't waste your money. And I hope they don't put even better stuff. They well, they have to make it. They're, they they may make make it worth it. But yeah, the premium is garbo. All right, the twenty tier skip is not worth that much money the emotes are not worth that much money so the premium is a big i am never getting the premium again but the cool part about the normal pay track is you'll end up with 666 platinum which isn't enough to get anything but here's the thing you save up two season passes of platinum and you get the third one free if it's just like overwatch and that's pretty good and I actually kind of like how that's going to be. So 10 bucks, 10 bucks, and you get the next one free. That's that's pretty dandy. If you don't want to buy any of the other cosmetic stuff, I'm going to be real. I haven't bought anything at this shop, and I'm not tempted to. If you're tempted to, Welcome back. I mean, depending on the aesthetics, I mean, you're going to. But I just try to ignore this as much as I can. Now, I got to talk about this too. So let's bring it up real quick because this this is the season now get more with premium now so far the hearts and stuff i've been i would say for free i'm having a good time still playing diablo there's a little bit more stuff to do it's a good time to level a fresh character try a new class i definitely think the seasons are worth it especially if you've already bought diablo it's free all right now, new questline, new powers, new boss battle, new gear. My first impression so far has been as enjoyable as me playing Diablo normal. Now, I haven't gotten any season blessings yet or, or all this stuff, but the goodies seem really good. The journey is easy to get through. I like having a journey, you know, just like in Diablo 3. The one thing I'm sad about is there's no... Uh, season revival yet but they they should hopefully have that at some point um, maybe season three maybe season two hopefully soon now this is the premium stuff if you like this armor cool I would say the ten dollar purchase seems to be worth it if you like the cosmetics if you don't then live your life and cheese always wants me to say this but the pro strat with the season pass is you finish it first then you buy it so if you haven't finished it then you don't need to buy it now the ten dollar one see it shows you you get all that goodies and then this one just gets you the 20 skip and then emotes out the wazoo and this best value no no this is the best value uh but no actually this is like the best value because it's free with the 70 dollars purchase of diablo then this and then that is ridiculous and you see how it has the horse well here's the thing the horse here look the horse all the way here at the end is it premium you just get them He's in premium. You don't need the premium to get him. And I hope they don't lock it behind premium. That'd be ridiculous. Uh, but overall, playing the season has been good. So I'd give the season a good... Like, I've been having a good time. You know, it's new stuff. You're killing demons. Leveling a new class. Leveling a rogue has been fun. I've been having a good time. Um, oh yeah, I did have another thing pulled up, but I don't... See, it was the prices. I wanted to look at the price. It's ridiculous. And it looks like you can only buy it in platinum. At least on here. That's crazy. That makes it more of a pain. So you'd have to do the platinum and then do the whatever. Freaking. That's it. That's modern day gaming for you. But overall, if you talk about the price point of Diablo, is it worth the season to come back, play a new class? Yeah. Um, and, uh, I've been having a good time. I will be playing more of it. Thank you for watching my first impressions of Diablo 4 season of the malignant and
and bye 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 bye